Where shall we start? Well, shall we start what with you this? Got? Yeah, what do you got in front of you? Okay, so this is uh, uh, just a small production from yep. Hearn's Workshop. Yeah. Uh, this is a customer order actually, which yes. we produced uh, overnight. And I thought we could uh, bring it back again. Yep. We haven't, we haven't uh, shown this for a little while. So let's have a look at some of these trays that we designed in here. Yes. So what's Hearn's Workshop? Hearn's Workshop? Well, Hearn's Workshop is the manufacturing division of Hearn's Hobbies. So. Uh, in the early days of Hearn's Hobbies, there was a lot of manufacturing, particularly at the time around um, ready control, or it would have been control line, yep. and then ready control aircraft. Yep. So there were aircraft kits and such. So we've brought back something that's more of this time, uh, with different technology, and we've started producing these um, aftermarket bits and pieces, figures, other accessories as well. Definitely. So these, these I guess, would be amongst the most popular series that we have. Currently, yes. Yeah, so these are the... Uh, uh, upgrade um, parts. So customizing parts, they uh, involve uh, bolt heads, screw heads, um, little control knobs. So this particular one that Nick's holding at the moment, it's got the uh, um, the hose 90 degree joiners in bands, various yep. sizes. Yep. And we have quite a few different ones. We've got three different versions of this one. So this is yes. 90 degree. Yes. Then we have a straight one and a, a T one. T one. Yes. So, uh, and as you see, they all have the three different sizes yes. for, I guess, different type of uh, uh, projects that you may have. There's male yes. and female. Yes. So you can plug them together, and, and that could be really good when you scratch build all different things. For sure, because I mean, the things like these, I mean, as good as scratch builders are, I don't think anyone would want to scratch build all these really fine fittings on the ends. So there's really a high um, detail on the hex fittings on the ends. And I mean, we, we've designed these and quite often people will say, oh wow, they're really great for a particular um, right. application. application that we didn't even think about. So I think someone was talking about these uh, being great for a, um, uh, a naval uh, anti-aircraft gun, I think, right. on the internals. Okay. So you never know, anywhere where there's hydraulics, um, pneumatics, uh, they can be handy. I guess when you do some sci-fi stuff, it'd be more, um, you know, yes. uh, scratch build type, um, you know, rubber or whatsoever, yes. this could definitely be a, a good fit. For sure. So I've got a, quite a few of those that are going to go into my um, Mac build as well. And then we have this one here, which is uh, it's just phenomenal in my opinion. These are, These are all the knobs the and knobs. switches. Switches, yeah. yeah. So there's a variety of different sizes here too. Uh, and these are designed for use in cockpits or any sort of operating space. So again, if you're scratch building, yeah. so any sort of customized uh, sci-fi uh, inside the cockpit or even with um, modern day jets. So you can use those on the... Uh, actual control panels uh, in the cockpit. These all look fantastic. So again, there's a diff couple of different sizes there. Yes, and, and quite a variety of different yeah. shapes. So you've done a video a um, few months back on how to use some of these uh, trays where yes. you need to drill yes. and then pretty much install this, you know, the stem yeah, of yeah, this, is right. that correct? That's how that's you call right. it? Yeah. So each, each one of these is yes. actually on a, um, a stalk and the stalks, there's a couple of different sizes of the stalk. So you just need to find the uh, a drill bit that's just slightly bigger than it, uh, so you can locate the part, and then you glue it in with uh, CA or super glue. And I think I've got my sample still here. All right. Ah, oh, here we go. This is, this is my multi-use sample actually. So I've used this for doing washers as well. So these are two particular parts here. So I've got one which is like a, a hinge, and it's got a couple of bolts on each end. And then the other one here is a bolt head, so it's a hex bolt head. Now it was just simply, this one was just drilling a hole so the stalk would fit into it. And this particular one didn't need it because this is actually flat sectioned. And that just glues straight on. Yeah. So just a little bit of detail like that adds quite a lot to this very simple sort of flat looking piece. Adds another dimension. Definitely. Yep. So really simple to use and give really great results. So we have, uh, I think, seven different trays at the moment. Yes, from sounds about right. Nuts and bolts. Yes. Um, hinges. Yes. Um, different part connectors. Yes. Um, what else? It's probably it, isn't it? There's probably, the, yeah. the different nuts and bolts and rivets. Rivets, and rivets, And then there's right. the, uh, the, the Zeus connectors, which are quite often on the sides of um, uh, opening panels. Yes. Yep. Definitely. That's one of the newer ones. And so, mm. Yeah, so we've got this selection. Obviously, these are designed in here by Warwick. Yes. 
And so if you have ideas for different type of trade combination or whatsoever, um, yeah, we, we just let us know. We can mm. definitely add it to, you know, to our list of designs. Yeah, for um, sure. And expand the range. Mm. So we did we did Hunt's workshop. We've designed a tram recently as well. Yes, a comical tram. Yep, which, uh, is available for sale as a motorized version and yes. soon. And the kit version is coming soon. Soon as well, so you yes. can actually build it, mm. uh, which is quite nice. Mm. And uh, yeah, a lot more coming. <laughs>